What's up guys, this is the Cody Walker here. Today I'll be showing you a couple of Mac tips and tricks that they don't necessarily include in the user manual. I use most of these tricks every day, so they're pretty useful. Keep in mind that these tips and tricks are gonna be aimed towards beginner to intermediate Mac users. If you're an advanced Mac user, this video probably isn't for you. I'll make some advanced tips and tricks later, but let's start slow. First trick I'm going to show you, I probably use every day. It enables you to search for and find anything on a web page. Say I'm trying to figure out which president Abraham Lincoln was. I'm going to open up Safari, and I'm going to go to trusty old Wikipedia. Then I'm going to look up a list of the US presidents to find out which one Abraham Lincoln is. Then I'm going to press Command F. That's going to bring up this menu. As I start typing Abraham Lincoln, because that's who I'm searching for, you can see it bolds and highlights the text. Next, I just scroll down to the list, and it's very easy to find that Honest Day was our 16th president. This trick also works in Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome more often. Although I do like the actual effect better in Safari, it still works fine. This trick is exactly what it sounds like. QuickTime offers HD screen capture software within the app. The icon looks like this. If you cannot find QuickTime in your dock, you can always do a spotlight search for it. Once you have the app open, simply go up to File and you'll see an option for New Screen Recording. Mine is not selectable because I'm currently using it right now. As you can see, the quality is great, and best of all, it's free. Has your desktop ever looked like this? Mine sure has, and I hate it. It's unorganized, and it looks really messy. I would try to manually pick up icons and drag them into a grid, but that's frustrating. It took a while for me to realize this, but your computer can actually do this for you. What you need to do is select your finder or your desktop, and then go up to the View tab. In this View tab, you'll see two options, Clean Up By and Sort By. As you scroll over these options, you'll see Sub Options. You can sort your icons by name, which puts them in alphabetical order. You can also sort them by date modified, by size, or by kind. This is the way I go. I like this because I can automatically identify my photos, select them, and put them in a photo folder. Let's look at the snap to grid option. This makes it so whenever you place an icon on your desktop, it automatically snaps to a grid if you just like to throw icons down. Whichever way you choose, your desktop will be clean and organized in no time. Changing your desktop wallpaper is just one of the ways you can customize your Mac. Most likely, it's the first thing people see when you want to show off your computer, so you want to set it to something you like. Apple gives us some great stock images, but what if you want to set it to something they don't have? I'll show you guys an amazing website where I get all my awesome wallpapers, including this diamond block one you're currently looking at. The website I use is called wallbase.cc. Now that I think about it, this isn't just a Mac trick. Since it's just pictures, you can use this website to change your PC wallpaper as well, if you have both a Mac and a PC. So you come here, and uh, if you're not looking for anything particular, they have a random section you can look through. And as you can see, multiple high quality photos show up. There's also a search option that lets you search for something in particular. I'll be sure to put the link to this website in the description of this video. This keyboard shortcut really has no purpose in my book, but it's just kind of fun. If you press Command Option Control 8, it will invert all the colors on your screen. Now my screen capture software won't show this, but I promise it works. Screenshots are a great way to show your friends something on your screen that they can't see. To take a screenshot, press Command Shift 4. When you press these buttons, a crosshair will appear. Next, simply click and drag the portion of the screen that you want to capture. When you let go, a picture should appear on your desktop. As you can see when I open the photo, it looks exactly like the portion of the screen that I captured. To take a picture of your entire screen, press Command Shift 3. 
If you press Command J on your desktop, a window will appear that will allow you to edit certain items on your desktop. You can edit the grid spacing between your icons, the size of your icons, and the position of the text. If you open up a window and do the same command, you can actually change the color of the background of the window by clicking the color button. This is another way to add some customization to your computer. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed Beyond the Manual Mac tips and tricks. Be sure to leave a like and a comment, and also if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message, I will get to you. And also be sure to check out my column at techspert.squarespace.com, where I write about everything Apple. Also, I have some good friends on there who write about other stuff, so be sure to check them out as well.